week two of the fantasy football season, and here's a few kickers I've looked to start this week. The first guy, Brandon McManus of the Denver Broncos. So Brandon McManus, he had a good ball game in week one with 11 fantasy points. But right here, he missed the 64-yarder, which I don't think they should have tried at all was this Denver Bronco team where they should have went for it on fourth and five, try to get the first down, and then try to hit a field goal. So anyway, Brandon McManus, he had a lot of opportunities in week one. It was a good ball game for him, and I think he's got more opportunities again here in week two versus the Houston Texans. The Broncos, they're going to be in the red zone more, in my opinion. They're going to put up points versus the Texans, and it's a home game as well where the altitude is better for a kicker, even though McManus looked fine to me in Seattle, and he's still out there in tons of fantasy leagues. Over 50% of leagues is Brandon McManus, so he's definitely a kicker. I look to start this week in a guy that will crack my top 12 in the rankings when those videos come out later this week. The next guy is Greg Joseph of the Minnesota Vikings. So Greg Joseph, a lot of people thought he was a one-year wonder, but so far he's picked up where he left off as well. It was Joseph in week one with 13 fantasy points, including a 56-yarder. So this Minnesota Viking offense is a high-powered offense. They're gonna get in the red zone early and often. I think this is gonna be a classic Monday night shootout between these two teams here with the Vikings and the Philadelphia Eagles. And Greg Joseph, he's got a big boot. He's been comfortable in Minnesota the first year he was there last season. And like I said, it's all about opportunity and the type of offense you play with. So I think the opportunity and it will be there. And Greg Joseph will have another good fantasy day. And he's a kicker. I would start this week the next guy's Ryan Suckup of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So Suckup had a good, great week one with 15 fantasy points. And right here, they settled for a lot of field goals versus the Dallas Cowboys. I don't think at the New Orleans Saints, they're going to settle for as much field goals. And I'm not going to say he's going to get 15 fantasy points to suck up, but he's definitely a kicker this week here. That I could see you hitting double digits once again. It only takes, obviously, a couple 30, 40 yarders and a few extra points, which I could see suck up have. And I could see this ball game be a shootout between these two division rivals. And usually the ball game's a while between the Bucs and the Wall and Saints. I think this is a shootout type of game this week in the division. And I think Ryan Suckup has another good ball game and he's definitely a kicker. I would start this week. The next guy is Evan McPherson. Cincinnati Bengals So McPherson. It was, was in a great week one. Evan McPherson with two field goals he missed in that ball game including one of them blocked. McPherson had a great rookie year last year. It was one bad game and now he's indoors at the Dallas Cowboys. Well I think the Cincinnati Bengals team is going to have a lot of opportunities to put points on the board. This Dallas Cowboy offense they're going to be off the field a lot in this game. I think the Bengals they're going to control time of possession and I think the Bengals are going to have opportunities to get field goals like the Tampa Bay Bucks did in week one. Maybe not finish drives off with touchdowns, but definitely have field goal opportunities. So having McPherson after a strange week one for him, I think he bounces back in the indoor game versus the Dallas Cowboys. And I wouldn't be surprised if he, in this one, has his double digit fantasy points. And he's a kicker I would start this week. And the fifth and final kick I would start is Daniel Carlson of the Las Vegas Raiders. So Daniel Carlson, he's been a solid kicker now over the last season for this Raider team. And in week one, had a pretty solid ball game, nine fantasy points, including hitting a 50 yard versus the Los Angeles Chargers. Now in week two, I think it's gonna be a similar type of game with the Arizona Cardinals and the Vegas Raiders. Pretty decent scoring game. Not the highest of scoring games, but a lot of field goal opportunities for Matt Prater and Daniel Carlson in this one. And I think Carlson in this one could have anywhere from 8 to 10 fantasy points. He's a kicker with accuracy. He's a kicker that could click the football good. And it's another indoor game on a high-powered offense with the Raiders. So that's a few kickers I would start here for week two of the fantasy football season.